Before you get into the rent and rank digital real estate space, before you start, I need you to listen. I need you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. My name is Nick Wood, by the way, the king of digital real estate. Don't let anyone else tell you anything different. Guys, I'm going to pose a scenario, a scenario to you, and you're going to know exactly what I'm trying to get across here if you listen carefully. But before you do anything, before you start, if you're thinking about starting, maybe you've already started, I need you to listen to this carefully before you do another thing. Another, you, you expend one more bit of energy towards this business. Listen to this and listen to this carefully. Let's pretend I had an opportunity for you. And let's say it was an, a, a real estate opportunity for you since this is real estate just digital real estate. We're talking real estate. So I came to you and I said, Hey, listen, I had this real estate opportunity for you. Yeah, let's, let's say it's $500,000, this property. So that's, it's 20% down. So you're going to be, you know, do a hundred thousand dollars down. Um, the returns look solid. We're looking at, uh, you know, 20% return cash on cash return, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you said, okay, that sounds great. And I said, well, hold on. There's a catch. You said, well, what's the catch? I said, well, Here's the deal is you can't actually start looking for a tenant for this property. I mean, what I gave you are projections, but you can't actually start looking for a tenant for a minimum of six months. I said, okay, that's strange. I've never heard of that. Uh, yeah, and uh, by the way, that doesn't guarantee that you're going to get a tenant. Um, we actually don't know if there's anyone in the area looking for this particular type of property, but if there is, boy, it's going to be good returns. And it may be more like nine months if we haven't done the calculations correctly. Um, but it's a, it's a great property. It's a great property. And listen, if this one doesn't work out, if you build three, four, five more of these things, maybe 10, um, the numbers, they play out, man. They play out because it's such a good return. Guys, what a pathetic opportunity. That would be, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know that I'm talking about this traditional broken bullshit method that is being taught and peddled on the internet of building, building, building websites, waiting for them to rank six months. By the way, guys, if people telling you that it's taken three months, um, have I had websites rank in three months? Sure. Uh, a couple but they've been in the most easiest niches ever in the smallest cities ever. Um, this doesn't happen that often. So when they say three to six months, plan on the, the, the six, okay? It's most likely closer to the nine. That's just the facts, okay? Um, but I'm so sick and tired of, of everyone getting fed this thing of go build, go build, go build. And in six months, in six months, in six months. First of all, uh, I don't have six months. I don't, in six months, dude, in six months, Okay, first, that's, that's number one. Even if it was guaranteed, like the example, I don't have six months. But even if I did, um, just because you build the website, you've been lied into believing that just because you build the website, just because it ranks, that you're going to even get leads. You don't even know if you're going to get leads. And even if you do get leads, you don't know if there's even anyone in that city that wants your damn leads, man. You don't know. It's like the example of saying, yeah, it's going to be a great opportunity if you can find a business owner, if you can find a tenant, but well, we don't know exactly uh, if there's going to be a tenant because it's the most pathetic waste of time, waste of money. And I know for some of you that have been in the game for a minute, it's hard to wrap your head around because you're so emotionally invested in, in, in building 10 websites for only two to work. It is a waste of time, dude. And you know how I came across is because I did the same thing. I built hundreds of websites. I got told to build, to build more. And when in doubt, build another one and another one. And you know what? In the end, it all shakes out. But that is, that is not true. It shakes out for the people that are selling the things to build the websites that you used to build the websites. So for those of us that are actually paying for the services, that ain't the thing. Okay. And in 2020, I needed to scale. I needed to get out of debt. I needed to provide for my family and stop playing small. And I started doing the math. I started realizing in order for me to get out of debt and do these things based on the, the, the success rate of the websites that I was building, not knowing if there was going to be a, a client, even if I built all the websites today, I was six months before I could even start renting. The, 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 the time didn't work out. It didn't make sense. And on top of that, I didn't have the bandwidth and the money to be able to carry websites, the hosting, the, the tracking number, not to mention the content and the backlinks and all the, the costs that go into building. I didn't have that kind of capital, man. I didn't have that kind of flow. If I did, 
I would, uh, man, would I have even gotten to this business model? We got into this to get the flow, dude. Okay. Guys, you would never take that deal in a million years because there's too much risk associated. There's too many unknown variables. Yet every day there are people out there, many of you out there that are building, 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 building. Oh, so-and-so said to build. Who's so-and-so and how much money have they made and how are they making their money and how much do they still make from doing that thing? Are they making their money from this or making their money from teaching it? Shit, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. For those of you that are sitting in, the, it's the same exact advice I give. For someone sitting in a nine to five right now, if you want to know what your future looks like, look at the person ahead of you and the, the job you're aspiring to be. Look at their life. If you'd be happy trading places and, and where they're at right now, keep going. But if not, you better make some changes, okay? It's the exact same thing. Look at the people that you want to trade places with and look what they're doing. And make sure they're making their money doing this. Not just selling you the products to build this, but doing this. They've made their money doing this. And outside of myself, I know of one other person personally, and I know a lot of people in this space, but I know of one other person that has made over seven figures in a year doing, doing this business model. And they ain't selling a course on how, on how to do it. Okay. So be careful out there, guys. It's a nasty world. It's a crazy world. Make sure that the people you're taking advice from are actually doing it. Mm -hmm.